Numen, place. Numina, is a Latin term for divinity, or a divine presence, divine will. The Latin authors defined it as follows. Cicero writes of a divine mind, divina mens, a god, whose numen everything obeys, and a divine power, vim divinum, which pervades the lives of men. It causes the motions and cries of birds during augury. In Virgil's recounting of the blinding of the one-eyed giant, Polyphemus, from the Odyssey, in his Aeneid, he has Odysseus and his men first ask for the assistance of the great Numina. Magna Precati Numina. Reviewing public opinion of Augustus on the day of his funeral, the historian Tacitus reports that some thought no honor was left to the gods when he established the cult of himself. Say, Coli velet, with temples and the effigies of Numina. Effigy Numinum. Pliny the Younger in a letter to Paternus raves about the power, the dignity, and the majesty. In short, the Numen of history. Lucretius uses the expression Numen mentis, or bidding of the mind, where bidding is Numen, not, however, the divine Numen, unless the mind is to be considered divine, but is simply human will. Since the early 20th century, Numen has sometimes been treated in the history of religion as a pre animistic phase, that is, a belief system inherited from an earlier time. Numen is also used by sociologists to refer to the idea of magical power residing in an object, particularly when writing about ideas in the Western tradition. When used in this sense, Numen is nearly synonymous with mana. However, some authors reserve use of mana for ideas about magic from Polynesia and Southeast Asia. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Etymologically, the word means, a nod of the head, here referring to a deity as it were, nodding, or making its will or its presence known. According to H. J. Rose, the literal meaning is simply, a nod, or more accurately, for it is a passive formation, that which is produced by nodding, just as flamen is, that which is produced by blowing, i.e., a gust of wind. It came to mean, the product or expression of power. Not, be it noted, power itself. Thus, Numen divinity is not personified although it can be a personal attribute and should be distinguished from Deus God. <laughs> Roman cults of the Numena Numen was also used in the imperial cult of ancient Rome, to refer to the guardian spirit, godhead or divine power of a living emperor, in other words, a means of worshipping a living emperor without literally calling him a god, the cult of Augustus was promoted by Tiberius, who dedicated the Era Numenis Augusti. In this context, a distinction can be made between the terms Numen and genius. <laughs> <laughs> Definition as a pre-animistic phase of religion The expression Numen Inist appears in Ovid's Fasti 3, 296 and has been translated as there is a spirit here. Its interpretation, and in particular the exact sense of Numen has been discussed extensively in the literature, the supposition that a numinous presence in the natural world supposed in the earliest layers of Italic religion, as it were an animistic element left over in historical Roman religion and especially in the etymology of Latin theonyms, has often been popularly implied, but was criticized as mostly a scholarly fiction by McGuff 2004. <laughs> Noumena and specific religions The phrase, Noumena ris caloque redix mirabere regna, appears on line 129 of the poem Metrum in Genesin, attributed to Hilary of Arles. <laughs> <laughs> Analogies in other societies Kami in Japanese Shinto Mana in Polynesian mythology Mabin in Australian Aboriginal mythology Manituak in Lenape mythology Shahina in Semitic mythology, Sila, Inua in Inuit mythology, Teotl in Aztec mythology, Megan in Anglo Saxon mythology, 
Vaki in Baltic Finnic mythology. Topic in popular culture. In modern times, the term referring to the Christian God has been used in various expressions. Anokyu vivito, Numen adist live blameless, God is here, was the motto of Linnaeus, taken from Ovid's Ars Amatoria I, 640. Nil sign Numen is the state motto of Colorado. Its origin could be the phrase non haec sign Numen divum evenient. These things do not come to pass without the will of heaven from Virgil's Aeneid 2, 777. Newman Lumen God is, the light is the motto of the University of Wisconsin-Madison and Elon University. The term Newman appears three times 142.23, 162.13, 282one in James Joyce's Finnegan's Wake. See also Animism Larry's Penance Sacred Comparative Religion